Police Emergency, what's your location? Yes, people, welcome or welcome back to Crime Daily UK. A man has been sentenced to life after being found guilty of the murder of 16-year-old Charlie Bates in Radstock last summer. Appearing at Bristol Crown Court today, Joshua Dalbano, 19, was found unanimously guilty of murder after killing the boy on Sunday, July the 31st last year. Charlie was fatally wounded by Dalbono in a public car park off the street in the centre of Radstock. Dalbono was sentenced to 21 years before he can apply for parole. The court was told how two cars, with one of them containing Dalbono, arrived at the public car park around 20 to 7. Charlie was then said to have approached the other car, after which a confrontation ensued between him and the people inside the other vehicle. The court was told Dalbono then got out of his car when he saw the confrontation, then proceeded to go to the group and stab Charlie several times with a knife that he brought with him. According to a pathologist, Charlie had been stabbed in the chest and arm in the incident which lasted less than five minutes, which they said was consistent with him trying to defend himself. Emergency services rushed to the scene but they were unable to save his life and he was pronounced dead just half an hour later at 7.15. At the trial, it was said that Albano fled the scene very quickly and made his way to Shearwater Lake in nearby Wiltshire when he then reportedly burned the clothes that he had been wearing at the time of the attack. Six hours later, at around 12.45 the next morning, Avon and Somerset Police said they received a phone call from Dalbono's mother. Hi, I'm in the room. Okay, and um, what's happening? Uh, my son's killed someone. Okay, all right, okay. Can you tell me where? Um, it was at Radstock earlier. He's just come back. I've just found out he's in my house now, but I can't does, let him go anywhere. Does he know you're on the phone? Yeah, he's here. I've told okay. him I've got to do it. She then passed the phone on to Dalbono, who admitted stabbing Charlie, claiming he was trying to protect others. Dalbono from Throne went on to falsely claim he had thrown a knife away at the scene and it may have ended up under a car however conceded during the trial that he had thrown a knife into the Shearwater Lake. Yeah, that's it there, people, but a very sad story. Two lives wasted, two young lives. But anyway, like, comment, check back for more, subscribe, yeah? Peace.